What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am Mishan with Moments with Mishan. I am a stay-at-home homeschool mom with two boys, an eight-year-old and a six-week-old. Wow, six weeks already. Um, and uh, I know lately I've been doing a lot of pregnancy vlogs and things pertaining to the baby. Um, but in today's video, we are getting back into homeschool. So I wanted to show you guys our 2022 2023 homeschool curriculum um of course i'm only homeschooling my eight-year-old he is in third grade so i want to show you my picks for third grade this year we have some things that we used for last year and if you want to see last year's homeschool curriculum video i will uh, link it above here on the cards and um you can see what we used last year and then we have some new things so i'm going to show you what we um, have that we used last year and then I'll show you the new things so we are sticking with master books we have master books math of course third grade and um, he had this for second grade last year he loved it it's very easy open and go he's able to read every Monday or whenever we start the week they have a story that correlates to what they're learning for that week and then they have each day they have different activities um, and for Malachi, I let him go as fast or as slow as he wants. He has to at least do one um, day one for day one or day two for day two. But if he wants to do Monday, do the whole week, he can. If he wants to do two days, he can. And we just go um, as we need to. Today, he did. He decided to do day one through three. So, like I said, it just... It just depends on his mood, um, but we have to at least get one day done. So we have that for math. We also have another math. This is a our book math um, because it's open and go and I can take it whenever um, and he's used to it. But we wanted to try something different and I have a technology based math and that is um, something new. But I will show you that a little later. I will show you the website and how you can um see his progress and things like that and if you want to see that wait to the end okay for master books again we have language lessons for living education so our language arts is in here same concept open and go we have a story on day one that correlates to what they're learning for that week and um you have the answer key in the back for the parents like it's very parent friendly um you don't have to sit there and manage and monitor every single little thing once they get into the hang of it um and they know exactly what is expected of them they're easily able to do this independently all right and so that is what we have that we did from last year master master books that's what we have now into the new things um last year we had a master books writing curriculum um i wasn't too much of a fan of it and so I wanted something simple, but um, that would help him with like grammar and things like that. So I have a Scholastic grade three writing book and it seems like it's going to be great for him. It, um, it goes by the state standards and of course, homeschoolers, you don't have to, but it kind of helps me to see like what exactly um, they're doing in that grade and how I can make sure that he's on the track that he needs to be. Um, and so they have the table of contents here with the things that they're going to cover. Uh, it seems like they cover a lot, like capitalization, punctuation, writing questions, proofreading, um, paragraph writing, brainstorming, expanding sentences, uh, et cetera. And paragraph writing was one big thing that I wanted him to kind of really get this year. Um, the language lesson for living education, this has, um, paragraph writing closer to the end of the book. But um, so to kind of hone in on that skill, I have this as well in the writing section. And so I'm gonna kind of just pick, pick a page and get him to do it and we'll do it together because writing is not his strong suit. So I wanna make sure that he's really understanding the material and it's really easy. It seems like it's gonna be um, really good for him so that's just a scholastic book here and then i also have which i don't have right in front of me because it's online teachers pay teachers has a um handwriting 
curriculum so it's part of the writing but it's not like grammar or anything like that just to work on his penmanship and it has regular you know handwriting and then it has cursive and so it has those pages there I have um printed them out I'm going to put it in like a binder and I'll have him work on that each and every day um to just kind of practice his handwriting it's getting a little sloppy he has okay handwriting for one a boy and <laughs> for eight year old but um I just want to work on it so that we we know how we're forming the letters and things like that because I think some of that got lost over the summer so I'm glad I have that curriculum I bought it and I believe it was only like $15 and that's because it was like a whole year's worth of curriculum for cursive and for um, print handwriting. Uh, what is next? Let's see. So since we're under the kind of language arts umbrella here, I have a spelling curriculum. Again, for spelling last year, we used was it master books? Well, we just use the language arts. They have like a, um, spelling words for each week. So we use that as our spelling. And we did like little spelling um, games and tests on the whiteboard. But I want something more intensive because he's great at spelling. And so because he's good at it, I want to make sure that I hone in on that skill. So we have that. All right. So for spelling, we have, I'm excited about this, All About Spelling. If you know about this company, they also have an all about reading. But like I said, I already have my reading down pat. Um, but this is the program that takes the struggle out of spelling. And um, like I said, he doesn't struggle in it. He's really good in spelling. But um, I want to kind of strengthen those skills since he's good at it. I don't want it to just fall by the wayside. So this is a program. This is his student packet. I'm going to get all this together put it in a binder <clears throat> and it has little stickers in the back and counters it comes with flash cards um phonogram cards reviewed um for that and phonograph phonogram sounds it comes with um the spelling interactive kit where it has like the letters that he can pull out and play with the color coded letter tiles that's right here and so it kind of correlates with um their app that they have as well um you can use the tiles online but you have to pay for that and then it comes with a teacher's manual so parents um it tells you exactly what you need to do each day or each week however you're going to do it for me i think i'm going to do it weekly um because like i said it's not it's not a weakness of his it's just something that i want to strengthen and um, it tells you like what you need to gather for the week, gather the materials, you'll need a student packet for level one, the letter tiles, the phonogram sounds app, spelling review box, divider cards, and line notebook paper. And then they have some optional things, the, the stickers, uh, colored pencils, letter tile magnets, and a magnetic whiteboard. And then um, it shows you like the different multi-sensory learning. So if your child is a visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learner, it shows you like what are some things that you can do um, for that specifically. And then it kind of just dives into what you're gonna do. And it's really interactive. It's not like, it's not really an open go. You have to kind of know what you're doing beforehand. So if you don't like that type of thing, this wouldn't be for you. This is really something that you have to have prepared and work with the child. Um, but that's okay with me because most of his stuff is open and go. But this here, I'll make sure that every week I know exactly what we're doing. So in this box here, I'm going to show you. This is the review box. It has the sound cards. This is the box where you take all the things that they give you here and organize it here so that it's easily accessible when you have to do a lesson. It tells you exactly what you need, like I said, in the teacher manual. Um, and so it's a step-by-step -step guide with the lesson plans. It tells you exactly what you need to do. It is also customizable. So if you had multiple children, you could customize it um, and use this same one for different children. Like if he needs to work on phonemes and another one needs to work on something else then you can customize it in that way and then it has a built-in daily review so every day 
um, if you're working on it every day or every lesson, whenever you're working on it, you can go back and review what you've already learned so they don't lose that. So I love that about this and um, I haven't you started using it yet. I still have to organize it. It was still in my FedEx box, but um, I'm really excited about that this year. So that is for spelling and language arts is finished. Okay. I'm going to piggyback on to math, okay? Math. Um, I have the master books, but this year we are using Beast Academy. Um, I've heard great things about Beast Academy. It comes with this great kit, and it even got, he even has like a little um, shirt. And so these little characters here, they're the main characters in Beast Academy. He creates a character online and he basically goes through school. Um, and it, it's more of an interactive, like problem solving type of math curriculum. And um, I made sure that I got book and textbook. You can only do, I mean, sorry, not book. Online and textbook. You can do only online, but um, I like to have tangible things especially for malachi like if i don't understand something then i can use this but the one thing that i love about this curriculum it is um like comic based so it's really fun it, it goes through by storytelling and so here we have the math guide and then the math practice and so in the math guide let me show you this is how it introduces the subjects it's literally comic book uh, and so they're talking and so if your kids love comics this will be great for them um, and it goes through what they're learning see like place value and all of that and this correlates directly to what they're doing in the app um, so right now he's on um, 2a and it goes all the way to to let me see to A, to B, to D. Yep. So to A to through to D. And it goes all the way down. And then I even got this puzzles thing. It's really, I mean, critical thinking. Um, you have to really think it's not just normal puzzles. You have to think like what numbers I want to put in there. You can't repeat, things like that. Um like kind of like Sudoku type of games and puzzles, those that really just get your mind um, going. And so they also have the answers in the back. So if you don't understand it, you can be able to explain it. And this is really good. This is just another practice. Like I said, he doesn't have to do this, but if he wants to, or well, we have extra time, he can do that. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And um, he can get extra practice with this as well as the master books, they don't correlate as far as like what they teach. So that's kind of good. I like that he'll have a wide range of um, math lessons or math concepts that he'll get to learn this year. And so he's excited about that. He actually has already started on the app. We haven't started with the book yet. So um, some things have been difficult for him because it's a different type of layout, but he likes it. He likes to play, he likes the characters and, and the things and he like, earns coins and so he'll come to me and be like look i i got three coins or i got three stars and this that and third and he loves it and um i'm glad that he's excited about doing the math so that is it for math math language arts we're done um history i am not doing a history this year because he is doing history with our homeschool co-op we meet with him every tuesday and he's able to do classes there that will count towards it so whatever um he does there and brings home i will make sure to put that in his portfolio but i'm not doing that this year i did um some last year but it was kind of hard to stick with it and i didn't really um get through the entire curriculum so i'm glad that he's able to get that with his co-op for science he's also doing science at co-op but we did agree on making sure that we do one science experiment a week so i got this here um awesome science experiments for kids and so it tells you exactly what you need um questions to ask um how what we talk about the steps ups, observations we can talk about and so we have that one um experiment a week 
and this is easy something for him to do he loves to experiment he loves to um see why things change and things like that so i thought this was a great book for him and a great addition to the science that he'll be doing at the co-op i believe he's doing gross anatomy so that's really exciting for him also because he's interested in being a veterinarian and gross anatomy is like one of the courses that you will take in college to be a veterinarian so really excited for that and i believe let me see is that it we got math we got language arts science um histories at the co-op spelling all of that is under that umbrella so i believe that is it um that is our third grade curriculum picks for the 2022 to 2023 school year. I'm super excited to see how everything will go. I will make sure to do updates and see what's working, what's not. And um, of course I do day in the lives of homeschool so you can see like how we operate, what we do and things like that. And I'm excited for this school year and what is to come. So um, make sure you guys stay tuned. And if you like these type of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.